Hi and welcome to the Bite Size Fitness Podcast with myself, Sean Newton and Pete Dudley, where we chat unscripted live from the gym basement. Listen in, hope you enjoy. Hi Pete, welcome Hi Sean. Back. Welcome back. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, today for me, we thought we'd talk about some training. Today yeah. for me is leg day. Leg day, infamous leg day. Yeah, and I thought, well, I think a lot of people hear people talk about it's leg day. Mm. With this some sort of ominous sort of feeling in the stomach. And I think maybe a lot, one of people, a lot of people sort of think like, why, why do people dedicate a day just for legs? You know, what, you know, that people don't necessarily talk about the rest of the body in such a way. I mean, they might say it's chest day. Yeah. Or yeah. back day, but people don't tend to talk about those muscle groups in the same kind of vein as it's leg day. A reference. The reference to day. it. So maybe mm. we'll just talk about mm. why do we separate legs more specifically? Why is it good to separate? Do you need to separate it? I'm glad you suggested leg day. I, and I don't know if you've seen it, but I would thoroughly recommend it. It's on YouTube. It's mm-hmm. uh, the, what was the guy's name? Dorian Yates. Mm-hmm. And uh, the guy from London Real is interviewing him, mm-hmm. and he goes over to Spain and does one of Dorian's leg routines. Right. And they're broken, no doubt. Broken. Slightly broken. And there's, it goes back to some footage of other folk doing this leg day and, right. um, and just, you know, crawling on the floor, throwing up afterwards, that sort of thing. Well, Dorian Yates was our greatest Olympian in the, in the bodybuilding circuit. Yeah. Dorian Yates won Mr. Olympia seven, seven, eight times or something like that. Yeah, back in the 90s. I mean, he was um, a huge guy in bodybuilding. Um, and you say your background's bodybuilding. Yeah, my background's well. bodybuilding. Yeah, I mean, so, so I, my, well, and, and well, if we're gonna talk about leg day, my <laughs> people, you know, my, the only time I've thrown up is from leg day. Right. When I, when I, when I first got into bodybuilding, well, when I started bodybuilding in sort of my early 20s, I sort of played around it with myself and learned mm. myself and mm. got books. And, and then I joined a, a gym more specifically and started working out. And then I joined our local gym in Brighton called Cheetahs. Oh, yes. Cheetahs yeah. Gym is, yeah, yeah. is the bodybuilding mecca. Uh-huh. And uh, I Every got working out. Every town has one. Every town has one. And this is, our, this is our spit and sawdust. And I wasn't particularly cardiovascular fit so much. But there's so much these days. I was doing a bit of cycling, but nothing crazy. Sure. I was much more into my weights. Mm-hmm. So just I thought I'd just say that. So I wasn't super fit. Anyway, I got ended up working out with this guy, Dixie. His name is unfortunately sadly passed away last year. Um, but so uh, in an ode to Dixie, he put me through a leg workout. Right. What One of it? his legs workouts. Now bear in mind. That's why I thought I'd say. Bear in mind, I wasn't super fit. Now the reason why I say that because. A hard leg workout is very cardiovascularly mm. tough because obviously it's the biggest muscle group in the body. Yeah, um, it takes a lot out of you. Yeah. Now, it wasn't so much. Well, it wasn't just the volume of exercises that we did. I think he wanted to break me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel that there was that slight sense of I'm just going to break this guy. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, in cheetahs, you went downstairs into the pit for leg day. It, it was, it, you had to go down two flights of stairs into, the, into these... the leg room only. It was a leg room. Leg room only? It was just a room for oh. legs. <laughs> and there was things in there. There was leg press, squat, leg extensions. There was a machine for every sort of part of your leg. Yeah. He got me doing squats with a bar on the back, mm-hmm. four to five sets of squats, straight onto the leg press, straight onto the leg extension, straight onto the calf raise, straight onto the deadlift, straight onto the hamstring curl, then onto the hack squat, which is another way of doing squats but a different angle. I mean, and he was like, come on, next, come on, the rest. And it was that, it was not only the volume of exercises, but the speed at which he got me to do the next thing. And I literally just threw up. Didn't even make it out of the room. (laughs) Second leg session. All right. I threw up with him. Mm -hmm. I made it a little bit further out of the room. I made it along the corridor. (laughs) Third time, there's no lie, because it's quite famous down there at the time. Third time, I managed to make it out of the room, along the corridor, and up the stairs, and out of the gym. 
and, I, and, and, and I threw up outside. Oh, well, that's because yeah. um, his wife Karen used to work on that well, work, work at reception, so uh, she was like, "Yes, you made it." <laughs> <laughs> well, finally. So um, those are my three times, and, that, and the, the, then obviously I got used to it. Right. At that point, so the fourth session, I survived leg day because obviously my body got conditioned to what he gave me. Let's scroll back. How yeah. about beginners? Beginner, you've mentioned some uh, important uh, exercises there. That, yeah, of course. You know, they're a staple. There's many of which I'd use myself. Mm. Not. That many gyms have a hack squat. I remember using a hack yeah, squat. Yeah, hack squat is a, is a, you lie with your back on it, you're at like a 45 degree angle, your feet, the foot plate's on a 45 degree angle, and you just, you know, squat down. It's just supposed to hit a different part of your legs. So for a beginner, you wouldn't necessarily need to jump to that. I mean, it's beginners you've got to be doing, really. If your body can handle it, your back can handle it, you've got good back, hips, you can do squats. Mm -hmm. Squatting is the most natural thing exactly. a human can do, is mm -hmm. to squat down and stand back up again. You should be able to do that. And obviously, mm -hmm. squatting with a bar on your back, um, you, can, you should do it within a, a squat rack. I mean, everyone's probably seen a squat rack mm -hmm. in a gym where the bar yeah. is resting on the top of a rack and you walk underneath the bar. The bar normally weighs 20 kilos before you start. Mm -hmm. So um, people need to be aware of that. Sure. So squats... Uh, they get guidance before jumping into that. Right? Get guidance before that. Yeah, I mean, if you're at a gym, find a trainer, and even somebody on shift, or even just get a PT. Just hire a PT for an hour. Yeah, just to say, get to get. To, can you show me how to squat properly? Yeah, because there's knees and uh, knees, knee angles, and there's lots of different ang you know ideas on how deep you should squat. Should mm -hmm. you go below parallel? Should you have your feet narrowed together and all this sort of stuff? So, all of which are, are valid. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it depends on your personal genetics. Some people can't squat that low. Yeah, there's all of that. I've just started to squat super low. I'm yeah. squatting to 90 degrees for, mm -hmm. for pretty well all my bodybuilding life. I'm now mm -hmm. squatting to, so my glutes touch mm -hmm. my calf muscles. So yeah. I'm going really low and I'm finding that works a lot better now. Yeah. yeah. Um, so squats on some level need to be in your workout. Um, some sort of hamstring workout for the back of your legs. So some sort of lying curl. Mm -hmm. It's classic. It's easy to do before That's you get into yeah. de get into like deadlifts. Mm. Um, leg extensions are okay. This is the one where you sit in uh, in a seated position with the pad on your ankles and you lift the, and the weight up. Mm. I'm an advocate of not crazy heavy with that exercise. I, I was always I told totally to keep it light. Agree. Totally, totally. I was always agree. told from a and Dixie again. He, you yeah. know, as much as he was a bodybuilder, he understood. Uh, he trained for aesthetics. He wasn't one of these mm. big powerhouses, and he said, "Look, the leg extension." Think of where that pad is when your leg is fully extended straight. The mm. pad is on your ankles. Yeah. You're fixed in. Yeah. All the pressure is on the knee. Exactly. So go light. Exactly. And it should be an exercise. It's, it's an isolation exercise. Mm. It wasn't designed as a power exercise. You know, yeah. your leg yeah. press, your squat are the mm. exercises where you want to build shape mm. in the legs and, and glutes. And the leg extension should be done to almost shape the leg in a way, to isolate. I, I would agree. Uh, I remember going back to we're going to go back to the 90s when I qualified in one of our first semesters we had mm. a doctor in from the know, Royal Free or anyway Tom Crisp he said that they should be outlawed the leg extension machine really obviously he wasn't coming from a bodybuilding no but he um, comes from a physio physio kind of a just a medic a medic angle so uh, because of that loading up mm. and putting too much pressure on the knee and there's nothing wrong and I often do it when I do use them in a leg day you can have minimal weight mm. and still hold the leg out yeah there squeeze it for a time squeeze so so leg extensions you're quite right and I'd advise anyone listening as well if you're going down that road uh, not to keep them light have it as a, as a, as a, have it as a warm-up exercise have it as a finisher exactly but do not have it as your as your as a working exercise I call it you don't need to go heavy on leg extensions. You've got your leg press, you've got your squats for that. Leg press, squats, get some guidance, whether it's a, a decent... It's exercise. worth it if you're, if, you're, if you're not sure. And you'll see a lot of people squatting, and probably everybody you'll see squatting will squat slightly differently. Yeah. So, it, And it's not necessarily they're different or they're wrong, it's just that's what they've worked out that's best for them. So get some guidance. I think it's totally worth hiring a PT.
get someone who's get someone on, like the, on this, the gym yeah. floor rather than just it's nice to yeah. get ideas from your Instagrams and your yeah. YouTubes yeah. but there's no one observing you doing it properly no uh, and at the very least perhaps use a mirror exactly you, you yeah. know, once you've yeah. had some guidance then use a it's mirror for, try and use it. I mean that's why mirrors are in the gyms they're not there to do your face and your hair <laughs> like <laughs> they are there for looking at what you're doing I mean that is exactly what they're there for I mean to make gyms look bigger as well but they are generally there for Checking your form. Indeed, checking your form. So we've got squats. What about lunges, people and lunges? Do you do any lunges? lunges? Do you know what? I have I got into lunges um, from not doing them. And I think, no, I actually, no, this is something I did. My, I think I went too heavy. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think I, I've, I think I caused a slight knee issue from going too heavy. So I ended up doing leg extension should, um, leg lunges should almost be treated in the same way as kind of lovely leg extensions really yeah. it's a big movement it's a great for working the glutes or the bum should we call it very very good for for the thighs however uh i start to go too heavy and i think you can do it weights obviously holding a weight in each hand yeah but just yeah. don't don't but just don't go crazy with the weight and i think i just went a bit too heavy but i think as, a, as an exercise they're awesome i mean if you really want to work your glutes and your quads Fantastic. Yeah. Again, caution. Get someone to guidance. Yeah. Don't do. Yeah, don't be holding on to 20 to 25k kettlebells. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So the leg curl can be a, a little less. Uh, is less problem problematic. Yeah, the lying leg curl. curl is a it's a very easy machine to use. The only tip I give there is people must make sure their knees just hanging off the edge of the bench mm. when they curl the weight up. Um, but it's a good exercise. You could do single leg with that as well if you wanted to. You've got stiff-legged deadlifts, which are very good for the hamstrings. But again, a very technique. It's a technique-driven mm. exercise. So if you want to do it, or you see people doing it and wonder what they're doing, totally get help on that one because yeah, that's sure. like back and hamstrings. So mm. I think for a good leg workout, leg squats, leg press, uh, leg curl, leg extensions to finish, mm -hmm. and some calf work. Because okay. you've got to work, and of course, then you've got all the other little peripheral things like your inner thigh, your adductors, yeah, and your adductors. Sure, sure, which sure. Which is why, which brings us on to the first question: is how it has evolved itself into leg day. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, because there's a lot of components to the leg, and because the leg is the biggest muscle group in the body, your yeah. glutes are the most powerful muscle group in the body. If you're going to do working. three, yeah, when they're working. So if you were to do three sets of every all of those exercises. You've got a forty-five minute to fifty-minute workout exactly. there, and you don't want to do, and you won't want to do anything else after legs because yeah. they're so exhausting. Yeah, you know, e you know, even you know, forget like the bodybuilding stuff like that. Even just doing it's it exhausting on, a, on the nervous system. Uh, yeah, it's also on the nervous system. It's a big muscle group. You're activating a huge bunch of muscles. So, hence, leg day is generally given for that muscle group alone for that one reason because it's because it should be tough. Should be it should tough. be tough yeah. for everybody, for women and men. It should be a tough. So one, it's tough. Two, as we've spoken about in length, so many of those exercises are technique dependent. Mm. So it's not something to rush no. uh, unless you want to injure yourself. Yeah. Uh, so mm. this is going to increase the time, the complexity, mm. the volume of exercises, yeah. making leg day a mammoth workout. Yeah. 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 All right. Before we go though. Uh, but again, spoken in length for beginners, you know, that go and find a PT, mm -hmm. a good instructor, do back squats, you know, maybe do your leg curl, uh, so you're doing your hamstrings as well, maybe entertain some lunges and mm -hmm. leg extensions, but get help as well. Yeah. What about for someone who's quite experienced, more trained, so your leg day, Yeah. what are you going to do? Bag, given what we've what let me tell you what I'm going to do today. Come on in. So what I'm going to be doing, literally very shortly, um, is squats. Yep. Uh, deep squats. Um, so I'm just building my weight up on that. So uh, glutes to calf squats. I do three sets only. Mm -hmm. uh, my repetitions are strong, so I'm trying to get my legs very strong because I do a lot of cycling. Mm -hmm. So it's it's very, so I'm strength based on the. On the legs right now. Yep. So three sets of eight reps, maybe, on squats. Mm -hmm. I shall then see how I feel on the leg press, which is the forty-five degree angle leg press, with my, my when I'm sitting in the forty-five degree leg press. 
Or I'll do the horizontal leg press. I'll see what's... Because mm. my knee aches a little bit at the moment. So I'll see which angle doesn't affect it. I shall do light leg extensions to finish. Mm -hmm. That'll be quads done. I shall then do some... I'm doing some one rep max or two rep hamstring work at the moment. Wow. Because I was told to, because I'm working with a sports physiologist, and my hamstrings, I had a basically, long story short, won't bore you, I had a bit of a muscle fitness test early, late last year, so sort of okay. November time, yeah, where I had various body parts tested for strength, and my hamstring muscles came out considerably less strong than my thigh muscles, so my thigh muscles are way stronger. Given the mass cycling you do. Yes, yeah. well, and then, well, this is, this is part of causing, and this is probably another podcast, but I started to, I do cramp up sometimes on some of my long rides or when I'm starting to put the power down on my rides, I start to get a lot of hamstring cramping. And I spoke to uh, Bettina and she said, a lot of people think, is it down to lack of fluid or you're not getting your electrolytes in? She says, no, it's not about that, it's muscle imbalance. She says, because of your bodybuilding background and you've been so quad dominant, mm. whereas you you know you haven't been cycling in terms of road cycling for that long, and obviously as soon as you start to wear clips, when you clip your feet into the pedals, that engages your hamstrings even more. Because I didn't wear clips on my road bike for about two years, right. which made it very, very thigh dominant and almost relaxed my hamstrings. As soon as I clipped in, um. which automatically engaged the hamstrings because you're pulling the pedal backwards suddenly now oh, that's what right. you do with the clip okay. oh, that's, that's, well, that's, you... that's why you wear clips so if you're mainly if you're bombing you know if you're um, going along the flat or if you're going up a hill mm. you can rest those thigh muscles because you can actually pull the pedal up with your hamstrings and then power down so you can actually rest the thighs a little bit so okay. you you wouldn't be able to do these huge mountain stages permanently just with pedals on your thighs would be burnt out yeah. So, flip side of that, I start to find that my my, my, ham, my hamstrings used to cramp up. Mm. It used to annoy me. I was saying, why are my hamstrings cramping up? I mean, I'm drinking my fluid, I've got my electrolytes going in. So what are you doing about that now? So, so basically, long story short, yeah. she told me you need your hamstrings are way lighter. You need to get your hamstrings up to, not 50, they, they should never be balanced. Mm. But my quads are like, you know, 70%, my hamstrings are like 30%. Right, okay. So you need to build a 60-40 situation. So, yeah, so. one rep max, two rep So max. I did some very heavy hamstring work for both legs, and now she said, and then we did another test about a month, three weeks ago, and she pulled on my, my hamstring as I laid down flat. I got my leg up at 90 degrees, and she pulled on it, and it cramped straight away. So she said, well, we still need to okay. get that arm. So she says, what I'd recommend you doing is, there's some one or two rep um, max hamstring work, single leg, Mm. Every day. Wow. So I'm not because I'm not fatiguing the muscle. Okay. I'm yeah. actually I'm only doing one to two reps, and I've been doing that every day, and it's fine. Brilliant. And I've I've actually increased the strength on the single leg work. So, and it feels already that my hamstrings feel better because I've done a couple mm. of relatively long rides and power, mm. and I haven't had a hint of hamstring cramping at the moment. So I'm going to keep yeah. fine with that. So that's what I'll be doing my hamstrings today. Very 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 heavy for one or two reps. Well, heavy for me. One or yeah. two. Okay, wow. Well, uh, far from hold you back from your leg day. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, I've had my coffee, so I'm ready for leg day. All right, thanks for listening. Thank you. So I hope you enjoyed that. Do check us out via social media uh, on Facebook, myself, Sean Newton, Holistic Fitness, and Pete Dudley at PT Pete. Until next time.